Hello and welcome to the Beauty Know It All. Rosie Huntington Whiteley is with me. <laughs> She's my all-time <laughs> favourite supermodel. <laughs> I fell in love with her when I first interviewed her Aww. probably a year and a half ago for her fragrance. And then I was one of the first journalists to see the makeup and it's now the best-selling makeup in Marks and Spencers. Yeah. And we're here to talk about it today. And this is the first time we've managed to sit down together on camera and I want you to fall in love with her as much oh. as I do. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Thank you Nadine, good to see you so as always. Nice Happy you. New Year. Happy New Year. So I remember when we were talking last time mm -hmm. and you had no idea these products were going to be so successful, they literally fly off the shelves, um, that there were a few things you wanted to yes. develop. Shall we start with the tinted moisturiser? Yes, so the tinted moisturiser we have here, now these products, we have sort of three things that are launching end of January. So we have the tinted moisturiser, the lip liner and three lipsticks, which we'll get to. But the tinted moisturiser, I'm a big, big fan of tinted moisturiser and I've always used it. And so it was something that came a little bit later in the collection because I really wanted to get the formulation well, perfect. I remember you saying exactly the same yeah. thing because I said the only thing that's missing from here is skin in the skin, sense of foundation. Yeah. And you said, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to rush it. Properly. Exactly. And you wanted a wide range of shades as well. Exactly. So we have six shades, which is really exciting. And it's just, a, this has got a really dewy kind of lightweight finish to it. That's I mean, a skin finish. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's actually just a Pull it off and it's got a pump. And it's a pump. Um, this is genuinely me trying it for the first really, time. Um, I love that. I was into this packaging when we um, when we were sort of creating the packaging and I just loved the idea that you could throw it in your makeup bag and it's pump on and it's just easy to use. and You can travel with it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So it fits into your lifestyle, doesn't yeah. it? That's so anyone gorgeous. that's used tinted moisturiser before will know it's kind of got a lightweight finish to it. It's, it's easy to use, very blendable. It's kind of for everyday use. And, and hopefully that's what we've ended up and with. And what are the shade really lines like? This. So, so they all that hopefully kind of encompassing all skin colours, and um, which was really important. I think that's been the the thing that we've always emphasised with the rosy photograph collection going right through into the lingerie. All ages, so, all, all, skin ages all sizes, all shades, all, shapes, all, all sizes. I love that demi matte finish though. Good. That's really beautiful, really flattering. I mean, obviously flattering on you, but also flattering on a woman my age as well. I really like that. Good, terrific. Well, we'll get them sent to you and then you can tell us what you think. That's like the oh, only one, one in its packaging right now. Oh, I won't steal one. Not off the press, <laughs> literally. So then we've got six new lip liners. And I remember when we spoke, you asked me which were the piece, which were the things that I didn't get to include. And, right. and I mentioned face and, and colour for face and, and lip, lip liners. liners, because lip liners are my absolute essential, can't live without, always have one in my handbag. Well, that's interesting because I associate people with you, like you with beautiful, perfect lips who don't need lip liners. I do need a lip liner to mimic the rosy lip, but it's got to be just the right consistency yeah. and just the right colour. Yeah. And it's, they're not easy to find. They're they? not. And actually, lip liners, for me, for me I, I, like I said, I wear one every day. That's and And it it's really just gives incredible natural definition to your lip. And you can really... Sh you know, you can really enhance your lip size just with lip liner alone. And so that's one of my favorite tricks. And fake a perfect lip. So, and I actually think it's really hard to get one that is the right shade yeah. and that beautiful, it needs to be soft no enough not to mm -hmm. drag, but hard enough to stay Exactly. Yeah. And so lip liner for me is all about enhancing your lips and really sculpting and defining your lip line. And you can, you can really do a lot with lip liner. And I think it's just, it's one of my favorite makeup tricks. I always make sure I have one. Um, tell me what you think of this. I, I, um, I wear mine with a little bit of lip balm and I'm kind of just define my lips and I'm out the door. I and I really it was just me. want to be quick. I, I don't worry about lip gloss or lipstick. That. Sometimes I just, I like to use a little bit of lip liner and lip, me too. And lip gloss, I mean lip, lip balm. balm and it just gives a really natural, defined pouty No, I lip. really, really like that. We also are launching at end of January three new lipstick colours. Now these colours are quite bold and a little bit of a departure from the colours that we already have in the existing lipstick collection. But you are, you're quite experimental with lips. You I quite often rock a red I lip. I love to rock yeah. a lip. I love to rock a bold lip and so this spring was I suppose were, you know an excuse for me to kind of flush the collection out and bring it with some, with some more bolder colours. Um, we've got Obviously, a beautiful, beautiful hot red for spring. Hot red, really um, gorgeous. We've got this colour called sour grapes, which, which I think is terrific <gasps> and kind of. I love the idea of doing something a bit deeper for spring as well. I think it's really, really lovely. And then we have this one called rosy lips, which is almost um, a sort of 
extension of Lady Rose. So I... we were talking about the tinted moisturiser mm -hmm. being in a travel proof mm -hmm. container, mm -hmm. which I love. Mm -hmm. You fly all over the world. Mm -hmm. I've never seen you looked jet lag, behave jet lag. What do you travel with to make sure you are <laughs> sunglasses. never jet lag? <laughs> Huge, <laughs> Huge sunglasses. Huge sunglasses. Yeah. What's always in your sort of carry-on travel? I think for me, I we probably spoke about it last time we sat down, and it's I, I always carry a sort of makeup bag with me, especially when traveling, and I call it like my five-minute face, and so it's just got it's got all my essentials in it that basically will give me a really quick polished look. Um, I'll have my amazing radiance cream with me, which is just re really great for kind of freshening of, up the skin, sorry, especially one after of my a long flight. Best buys. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Temporally. So you've got that, which also yeah. hydrates as well. It's just, yeah, exactly. So yeah. that's a really great one to use after a flight. Um, now I will be having this in my in my bag as well, which is the tinted moisturizer yes. we spoke about before. Concealer, obviously, I'll just quickly go in, hide any blemishes under the eyes. Um, and then a little bit of bronzer and a little bit of blusher. Sunglasses on and... So that you wouldn't of, worry about your eyes. Would you take no, your makeup off when you fly? I do. do I try and remove all my makeup, you know, before flying or and especially before sleeping because I sleep on the plane. I just yeah. think the air on the plane is always really dehydrating oh, for your skin. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a big fan of makeup wipes, but I have found a brand of makeup wipes from Kojen Do, which I swear by. They're a Japanese um, make and they are so soft. They're kind of, it's almost like taking your makeup off with like very soft cloth and water. I mean, I don't recommend wipes, but that's the one time I one do time. use a wipe. Yeah. yeah. And if I can find it, I'll put the link below where you can get it. Okay, you'll, I'll yeah. show you them okay. before we're done. All right. Um, what about hair? Do you, hair? Do you, I mean, you've got naturally gorgeous hair, but do you kind of <clears throat> spritz it up before you land? Yeah, so I'll use a bit of dry shampoo. Moroccan oil has one of my favorite dry shampoos. I use it in the light tones. You would use that as light tones because we're blonde. And that I'll just kind of just spritz it underneath at the root, kind of give it a scrunch up, good to go. Any other skincare you travel with at all? Um, I probably always travel with, um, my two favorite products to travel with are um, the Hydra Cool Serum from um, IS Clinical. Clinical yeah. I know you're a big fan of that brand as well. And that for me, I She's love- She's a real beauty aficionado. She <laughs> knows her stuff. I love that product because I'm not great with heavy creams. I like I like to use gel moisturizers. I just find it kind of sucks in and it gives me that instant, um, gives me that instant moisture that I need, especially when flying. Um, and so that, that's one of my favorites. And then I love Caudalie um, Beauty Elixir Spray, which is just gorgeous on the plane and, and really nice to have in your handbag at all times to just spritz and freshen up throughout the day. So that's one of my favorites and something I've used for years. I picked that up from a makeup artist backstage. Also, it smells nice enough. It smells it's, it's, so if lovely. You're in, if somebody's eating a curry next mm -hmm. to you, you can spray it yeah. around the cabin, can't you? I have to say, I am that annoying person on the plane that's spritzing essential oils, and making my seat smell <laughs> nice and making, I mean, that's good for everybody. You don't yeah, worry the rest about of the that. cabin should be glad I'm yes, doing it because exactly. there's, there's usually someone that's taken their shoes off that's not. Always, that's my pet peeve on a plane. Is I when agree. someone takes their shoes off and they've got smelly feet and you've got to sit there for the next 12 hours <laughs> in their sweaty foot smell. It's disgusting. So, yeah, I'm spraying me. Now, last time I spoke to you, mm -hmm. um, you shared your smoothie recipe with oh, me. Oh, yeah. Tell me your smoothie recipe again so everybody can ah, hear it directly from you. Smoothie recipe would be I think you'd start, I'd start with a banana. Frozen banana, so if you slice them up, put them in the um, freezer. Start with a frozen banana, then I would have a little bit of almond butter. Um, basically any berries that you've got in the fridge. So if you've got strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, throw them in. I mean, you can just really be playful with a smoothie. I don't think you have to be too precious about it. Then if you've got any flax oil that you like to throw in or probiotics, sometimes I actually like to throw a little bit of granola in kind of gives a nice crunch, crunch to, it. to it. And then um, almond milk or soy milk, depending on what you like, or, or regular milk, it really depends on what you like, or if you like yogurt, throw a bit of that in. Ice cubes, whiz it up. I think that's pretty much everything you're I put in. And whiz it up. Water, yeah. But that's a great way if you're really pinched for time in the morning and you don't want to have a big breakfast or you know, you're trying to make a snack in the middle of the day. Often um, I like to put protein powder in it um, if I need to get some protein as well. But um, yeah, I, I'm a big smoothie fan. No, I remember yeah. you telling me last time. Right, just, so great. just some quick questions, okay? Mm -hmm. So just sort of like biggest quick fire. beauty bugbear. Uh, we spoke about this last time. Last oh. time we spoke about the Scouse brow, didn't we? Right. <laughs> yeah. Who does 
does your eyebrows. Your eyebrows are perfect. No, no one does oh, them. I love that. No one does them. You don't trust them. anybody to do them. You, to, because to be honest with you, I take out a couple of yeah. hairs and that's it. And any time I've let anyone touch my eyebrows, they get overzealous and they get overplucked. And it, you know, I sort of look back. Eyebrows are so interesting because they really, really, really frame change the your face. face. And actresses my age get get um, charged with having surgery, and they haven't. Mm. They've just changed their eyebrows. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's really like one thing I always think. I think your eyebrows are perfect. Oh, oh well, I. I barely touch them so that's my that's what I do and are but they your lashes these are not my lashes oh <laughs> these are not my lashes my um friend Catherine she has um an eyelash extension uh company here in London called Flutter Lashes and she does my lashes for me just before I do a special if I have a special event and yes because you've had so, so many this, things this to week, do week I've had a, a big week and so I are just, they literally just put it on the top yeah they just she does um they're one by one extensions yeah. it's definitely um um, I'll put something that takes a bit of time you know you've got to have a free hour and a half and not something I encourage it's... you doing on a regular basis but if you've got a nice event or you're going on yes. holiday or you're getting married or you're you know it's a friend's birthday or you're doing something really special like me you know if I've got a big mm -hmm. work event I like to have them done and um, it's sort of my perfect kind of pick me up I suppose. Oh, uh, biggest beauty crush person as in and why? I think we spoke about this last time and I would say for me my modern day beauty crush is Diane Kruger. I just think she's cool. I think she's effortless. I think she's timeless. Do you um, follow her on Instagram? I do. She's and so self-effacing and She's funny. such a cool chick yeah. and I love her work and uh, every time I bump into her we always have a we always have a nice chat and um and i've just interviewed think celebrities for years and along with you she's yeah. one of my top two yeah three she's people. super cool super smart and knows loads about beauty really she, yes yeah. yeah and then i would say my all-time all-time beauty icon would be liz taylor elizabeth taylor just because i i love i love her life story and i think she's just you know her whole the way she lived her life was was very fun and um, the, epitome the, of glamour. the epitome of glamour and beauty and when you see those images of her and it was just a, an era where beauty was so everybody took the time to mm -hmm. really really you know make an effort, make an effort yeah. and and enjoy and enjoy that process as a woman and it was encouraged and um, but yeah, the, the, those iconic shots of her. Gorgeous, yeah. absolutely gorgeous. Best beauty. brows and that lashes. She had a double set of lashes, didn't you know that? Totally. And the eyes were like violet. Um, so your best beauty gadget? I have a few beauty gadgets that I love to use. Um, an eyelash curler from Kevin Aquan uh, that has a really nice shape for my eye shape. I also love the Clarisonic brush, which is really, really fantastic for re really a deep cleansing on your skin and after exfoliation. Day, yeah. It's amazing like when you wash your face and mm -hmm. then you use the Clarisonic afterwards and you're still removing makeup. I mean, um, so that's one of my favorites. Um, uh, what else do I like? I have an LED light mask that I invested in, which is really good for skin. And um, it's kind of that w those things the, that yes, the, the weird so things that sit on top of your light. face. Yeah, I think yeah. I've seen them on your Insta stories. Yeah, yeah, and it and it um, emits different color lights, which is really great for for me because I suffer with acne sometimes. And so uh, the blue light is really really helpful with that. And I know the red light is um, great for aging skin and wrinkles and things like that. And uh, if you can take the time to sort of spend a little bit of you know, five minutes under that every couple of days. It's quite nice. Yeah. I sit, watch, sit and watch TV with it on and everyone thinks I'm really <laughs> like the weirdest person. But <laughs> um, Last song you danced to? Mm, we were on set yesterday shooting the new Rose Broadcraft lingerie stuff and we had Jamie Woon on, who I love. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we were sort of dancing around to that. And... Um, Last book you read. There's a lot of George Michael happening over Christmas, and I know, really sad about I that. Know. And I was a big, big fan, so we listened to a lot of that around Christmas time. I've been well. I'm old enough to have been clubbing with George Michael. Mm, I know. In the mud club. I know. Uh, what makes you happy? Um, May I say dashants? <laughs> you know what? I think for me, happiness is all about having a lot of love in your life and good people around you. Um, things that make things that make me happy are my dogs, my family, yeah. my loved ones. It's, you know, the small things like being in nature. Yeah. yeah. 
absolutely. If you follow Rosie on Instagram and on her Insta stories, she gives you little peeks into her life and you can tell they're her dogs. She's got two They're, they're my, the light of they my life. They are so cute they're, as well. They're so fun. They they're really the are. only things that are cuter than you on Insta <laughs> stories. I'm always like, oh my God, I'm that person that's posting about my dogs all the time and people must find me so annoying, but you cannot resist it. No. I can't resist it. I miss them so bad, I can't wait to get home. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Nadine. Didn't I tell you that she was just oh. as beautiful inside as she is thank outside. You. Thank you. And thank you. I will put the links to everything, including all of Rose's new makeup, the weird mask, I'll ask her all about it. <laughs> everything below. And thank you for watching. And isn't it great? You got, you got to spend some time, as I do, every so often, with the beautiful Rosie Huntington. Thank you. Thanks for watching.